Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements regarding Kaziranga National Park. It is the single largest undisturbed and representative area in the Brahmaputra Valley floodplain. It has been declared a tiger reserve since 2007. It is listed as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We have to select the correct statement or statements. All are correct. Option D is the correct answer. Researchers found that Kazi Ranga absorbed the most amount of carbon dioxide during the pre-monsoon season of March, April and May. The photosynthetic activity of trees during the monsoon decreases due to increased cloud cover. Hence, the ability of the forest to absorb carbon dioxide also decreases and the situation remains the same during the post-monsoon and winter months making the forest a net carbon emitter. Kaziranga National Park is located in the state of Assam and covers 42,996 hectares. It is the single largest undisturbed and representative area in the Brahmaputra Valley floodplain. It was declared as a national park in 1974. It has been declared a tiger reserve since 2007. Kaziranga National Park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. It is also recognized as an important bird area by BirdLife International and home to the largest number of one-horned rhinos in the world. Freedom of conscience and the right to freely profess, practice and propagate religious is guaranteed in which of the following articles of the Indian Constitution. The correct answer is option C. Article 25, Clause 1. A three-judge bench of High Court of Karnataka recently adjourned the further hearing on petitions questioning the ban of wearing hijab, ban on wearing of hijabs by Muslim girls, students on college premises. Article 25, Clause 1 of the Constitution guarantees the freedom of conscience and the right to freely profess, practice and propagate religion. It is a right that guarantees a negative liberty. That means that the state shall ensure that there is no indifference or obstacle to exercise of this freedom. However, like all fundamental rights, the state can restrict the right on grounds of public order, decency, morality, health and other state interests. Consider the following statements. The Nebhya Fund framework provides for a non-lapsable corpus fund for safety and security of women. The fund is administered by the Department of Economic Affairs of the Finance Ministry. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. The Delhi government has requested the center to disburse over Rs 11 crore from the Nirbhya Fund. The fund will be used in the elimination of over a thousand dark spots in the capital with a view to enhance women's safety. The Nirbhya Fund framework provides for a non-lapsable corpus fund for safety and security of women and the Ministry of Women and Child Development apart from several other concerned ministries were authorized to work out the details of structure, scope and application of this fund. It is administered by the Department of Economic Affairs of the Ministry of Finance of the Government of India and can be utilized for projects and initiatives related to women's safety. Consider the following statements regarding SMILE scheme. It is a new scheme after the merger of existing schemes for beggars and the homeless. Article 39 secures the right of adequate means of livelihood for all citizens. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second statement is correct. Option B is the correct answer. The center is all set to roll out the map, the roadmap for mainstreaming transgender persons under the umbrella scheme, support for marginalized individuals for livelihoods and enterprise. It is a scheme after the merger of schemes for beggars and transgenders. Scheme provides for the use of existing shelter homes available with the state and union territory governments and urban local bodies for rehabilitation of the persons engaged in the act of begging. The focus of the scheme is extensively on rehabilitation provision of medical facilities, counselling, basic documentation, education, skill development, economic linkages, etc. Article 39 secures to its citizens the right to adequate means of livelihood for all citizens, equitable distribution of material resources of the community for the common good, prevention of concentration of wealth and means of production, equal pay for equal work for men and women, preservation of health and strength of workers and children against forcible abuse, opportunities for the healthy development of children. Consider the following statements. The Supreme Court has ruled that election manifestos are legally enforceable documents. In case of single-phase election, the manifesto shall not be released during the prohibitory period. So we have to select the not correct statement. Option A 
only the first statement will be not correct the congress party general secretary released the manifesto titled unnati vidhan in the state capital of lucknow recently and with the focus on farmers the manifesto promises to waive all farm loans within 10 days of the party coming to power an election manifesto is a formal statement of a political party in which they state their aims and policies which they commit to achieve if and when they are voted to power these function as signaling devices for understanding the priorities of a political party and are not legally enforceable documents this has been reiterated by the supreme court in 2015 in case of single phase election the manifesto shall not be released during the prohibitory period as prescribed under the article or section 126 of the representation of peoples act 1951 The section 126 of RP Act is the prohibitory period which signifies the period of 48 hours ending with the hour fixed for conclusion of polls. Consider the following statements. The provision for special address by President of India is provided in Article 87. The address for the President or of the President is held at the commencement of the first session of the Parliament every year. We have to select the not correct statement. Both are not correct. Option D is the correct answer. Article 87 provides for the special address by president it provides two special occasions on which the president addresses a joint sitting at the commencement of the first session of each general election of the house of the people and at the commencement of the first session of each year the president shall inform the parliament of the causes of its summon such an address is called special address and it is also an annual feature no other business is transacted till the president has addressed both the houses of the parliament assembled together The president's address is the statement of policy of the government and as such is drafted by the government. Moving on, with respect to the One Ocean Summit, consider the following statements. The summit is being organized by France. It is being organized in cooperation with United Nations and International Maritime Organization. We have to select the correct statement. Only the first statement, option E will be correct. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the high level segment of one ocean summit today through a video conference message the summit will also be addressed by several heads of states and government including germany united kingdom south korea japan and canada among others one ocean summit is being organized by france from 9th to 11th february in brest and it is in cooperation with united nation and the world bank the objective is to mobilize the international community to take tangible action towards preserving and supporting healthy and sustainable oceanic ecosystems with reference to the enforcement directorate consider the following statements it was established in 1964 the directorate is under the administrative control of the department of economic affairs we have to select the not correct statement both are not correct option c is the correct answer the enforcement directorate has attached over 1.77 crore rupees worth bank deposits of journalist rana ayub in connection with a money laundering probe The Directorate of Enforcement was established in the year 1956 with its headquarters at New Delhi. It is responsible for enforcement of the Foreign Exchange Management Act of 1999 and certain provisions under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Work relating to investigation and prosecution of cases under the PML has been entrusted with it and the Directorate is under the administrative control of the Department of Revenue for operational purposes. The policy aspects of the fema its legislation and its amendments are with the within the purview of department of economic affairs policy issues pertaining to pml act prevention of money laundering act however are the responsibility of department of revenue remember this from north to south arrange the following countries distance from the black sea so we have these many options before we answer this question let's look at this map already you have seen the answer as the option was there So Ukraine stands at the topmost then we have Moldova Romania Bulgaria and Turkey and from here we from the right we have Russia and Georgia so one thing you keep in mind the question says not the bordering but the distance we have to see even if the country doesn't border the black sea we have to answer this question so see Ukraine then of course we have Moldova Romania and Georgia option B is correct Russia has amassed troops against Ukraine not only on territory but also in the sea. The Black Sea is a marginal Mediterranean sea of the Atlantic Ocean lying between Europe and Asia. It lies to the east of the Balkans in the southeast Europe. 
south of east europe plain european plain and eastern europe and north and west of south caucasus and anatolia and western asia the black sea is supplied by major rivers principally the danube dnieper and don the waters of many countries drain into the sea beyond the six that share its coast so you can see the map moving on with respect to an early harvest agreement choose the correct statement under this two trading partners significantly reduce or eliminate custom duties on limited goods and services and the very first early harvest agreement india signed was with thailand both are correct option c is the correct answer india and australia are looking to finalize an early harvest agreement in the next 30 days an early harvest scheme is basically an agreement between two states which liberalize tariffs on certain goods preceding the conclusion on free trade agreement two trading partners significantly reduce or eliminate custom duties on a limited number of goods and relax norms for promoting trade and services india's 2003 early harvest scheme or agreement with thailand paved the way to the negotiation of an fta through its elimination of tariffs duties for 83 different goods the world pulses day is celebrated every year on the correct answer to this question is 10th february world pulses day is celebrated on 10th february every year and the theme for this year is pulses to empower youth in achieving sustainable agri food system let's move on to the practice question consider the following statements regarding anti defection law it was included in the constitution via the 42nd amendment act of 1985 election commission of india is the final adjudicating authority for anti defection law we have to select the correct statement that's it for today answer correctly stay updated and thank you so much for watching